Boom. Viewer, subscribers, what up? Fight back again with them, they update you yeah, because trust. They're not fired from King Mix of being incredible. I like keep on telling you that you don't know the thing set, people. Bless up on yourself and a good tools there, yeah. But you know my style already, one bag of one, one I gotta give you these daily updates on the people them that you see in front of you. Now the media is trying to make it seems like the two rats them is at war. Bree is breathing after the sex tape bus. And we heard about kissing cousins. But what about effing cousins? Yes, Lincoln responds to start exposing them sexual incest business people. I be a baga baga and I want you know. Hit the like button and share from nowhere. Try to reach broader audience. And I need your help in doing so. Yeah, so let's get into it now. Okay, people, it's been two to three months after Silk Boss bust a nut in Bray. Good up, good up, hole in a 30 second sex tape that was leaked uh, to social media. It is now rumored that the happy couple are now expecting their first child. You see me, I say. On the streets, I talk a bear bagger bagger, you see me. But before we get to the 10 man I call upon Bray, um, Betty likes Shansia. Um, let's just look at the pictures leading up to what why people is saying that she is breathing. As you can see, girl stomach did flat out a couple of weeks ago. You know what I mean, um, and now the girl belly, a bojo, cause you know, girl, I live good life. No, it's a massacre. Them say silk bars to tear up the the social media streets. You know. And all of these things and things. But see the belly there. This is why the people them say. Um, she and Silk Boss is expecting. So based off of the pictures that on the scene. And from the sex tape. Do you think that Brie is um, pregnant? Or you just think her belly full of KFC? Because you know I say I be a KFC. The man them I say them say. The man yeah me know. But anyway the streets I say, say 10 man. I said 10 man name I call upon Brie. Like Shensei. You know what I mean? Sorry about that. That's my fault, people. Um, and the child could not be um, Silk Boss. Because you know them say, Brie have a bona fide man of Portmore or Spanish tone. Or one of them things. You know what I mean? Who don't know why I go on from what I go on and put in the comment section. But honestly, I don't think Brie... Well, I mean, I swear for no girl, you know. Anyway, people want to put in the comment section when they think why I go on from what I go on. Girl definitely securing that bag. You feel me? And that's why. And she said it's so cool vlogger boy them mad because she and her man I make money and I make moves and them just a watch and her blood clad. You know what? Leave people business alone. You know? But just again an update as Silk Boss and Bree Boss might be expecting one. Put in the comment section. Okay, people. My girl Jessie is exposing um Mr. Jones, Miami, I guess this club um, in Miami is being racist to black women, especially black women. You know what I mean? Um, but them choose the wrong one for mess with them. She's airing them out. So before we continue to what we have to say, let us hear what Jesse has to say about this establishment. Um, that you see all of these rappers attending and all of this stuff and things and things. And then we'll jump back into it. So I've just gotten home from a spectacular night of racism in Miami. So I was invited out by a promoter to go to Mr. Jones and it was a group of us women and they denied us because we had too many black girls in our group and stated that we need to dilute pretty much the blackness and include some white or Hispanic women to come with us for us to get access into this club. Now, the really sad thing about this is as a black woman who grew up in Miami, I'm not surprised. I've heard multiple stories about the fact that these clubs in Miami do not want black women in them, especially if the race is primarily non-black that night. There's a certain ratio they have in mind and they don't want it to, you know, cheapen because of our race. Now, I wholeheartedly believe that these scenarios continue 
because people don't speak up about them. So that's what I'm doing right now. Mr. Jones, why do you think this is okay? And the fact that this man had the nerve to say this with other black men standing next to him and they did not bat an eye. This is, it's, it's a travesty. It's a shame. It's ridiculous. It's disgusting. And the funny thing is I've been to Mr. Jones several times, but when I come to think of it, I probably was that 1% of blackness that was allowed in your edifice. But that's cool. It's cool. No problem. And I know some of them can't hear, so I read what the caption says. She says, racism is alive and well. At Mr. Jones, you picked the wrong one. The reason why these occurrences continue is because no one advocates for the black woman. No one speaks up, and I will do so. And I mean, gladly, I lived in Miami since I was four, and I can kind of, I can count on the amount of racist situations that I have experienced, and this one is the most diverse this one, this is one of the most diverse cities in the country and we still get treated like second class citizens. If you care about the changes that need to take place, please comment, like and tag a friend to this post. I mean, our voices need to be heard for changes to take place. Bye, 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 bye. We need to stop fear ourselves, you know. That is black people's biggest problem. We fear ourselves. That's why we attend these white people places, you know. That don't even give a S about us. People putting out a comment section. What do you think about the situation? You see me, I say, this is why I go so hard for the melanated people. And, you know. But yeah, pick up yourself, Jesse. People, let's proceed. Now, I don't know what I want with the king of dance uh, and dada. You know who dada is. Um, Sizzler. Well, you know who the king of dance uh, is. Beanie man, according to some fans. They say, man, I said, don't at me. You know, just put in the comment section. Well, Beanie man is making it clear that him and dada not have no problems. And the media is alive. And whenever I see Beanie man um, make public posts, we know I say, Boy, the media really is alive. You know what I mean? Cause I guess them say a thing go down a pepper seed. What they are. Yeah? And things and things. But, Beanie Man said this. Big up Sizzler. Me and Sizzler can't have no problem. And we both made that clear. So, to the media, stop spread lies. And in a statement put out and in page, him said professionalism should be the pinnacle of all business transactions. On Saturday, May 21st, I was booked to perform at the Pepper Seed Live event. I had a contract with the promoter for um, a band performance for 30 minutes, and I was the only artist booked at the time to perform on bands. I had a contract with the band, and I paid the band for my set. The promoter contacted my manager requesting that the band also cover Sizzler's performance. The band requested that the promoter of Sizzler pay a reduced fee from their usual price considering they would be covering my set based on my understanding and what was disclosed by the band leader. There was no payment made for them to back any other artists. Before my performance, the promoter, promoter's project Manager sent over a time slab and that covered 45 minutes. Initially, I had rehearsed for 30 minutes due to this request. We then changed our set list just a few hours before the performance to ensure we covered the 45 minutes as this was no problem on my part. I arrived at the event one hour and 40 minutes before my performance and I was excited. Excited to see both Frisco and Sizzler's performance, we waited and inquired about stage management as we realized the slated time had passed and the first act did not do his set yet. Once I started performing 15 to 20 minutes into my set, I was told by the promoter said 5 minutes with no explanation, no disclosure of time con constraints, no explanation of permits, problems or prior requests to cut the set short. The promoter had ample time to discuss with my management and the band members, but 
he waited until we were in the middle of the set to send the police on the stage to cut the show short. I have been doing this for many years. I worked with many promoters who were short on time due to permits, and I have often cut my shows to accommodate other performers. Promoters all over the world can tell you that Beanie Man is one of the easiest artists to do business with. With this explanation, I hope the narrative that is being circulated um, is cleared as Sizzler and I have no dispute. Going forward, local promoters need to start treating show business with respect and professionalism as any other business. And I don't think I need to say any more about this. People putting out a comment section. What do you think? Now, I don't know if Star is doing this for Cloud to Bus in other music business. You know what I mean? I um, look like this in the Kingdom, man. Big mouth, big head. Diani never work, you know. Yeah, I mean. I always heard about kissing cousins, but me never hear about fucking cousins, you know. Unless we are watching Jerry Springer's show. Yeah, I mean. I have come to find no people, Star and Lincoln Tree, that is cousins. This is the reason why they broke up, you know what I mean? She gave an interview. What well, there, yeah? You see me answer. But no, um, such man Lincoln tree that um, breaks silence and sleeping on it with his cousins and things and things. So let's take a listen and then we'll proceed. Yo, God know me don't know how them man I love man so. It's like the man them find everything to get me attention. She sister do our interview, you know, I watch where I go on my inbox. One man will like man. And this is what he posted after that. Him said, my youth, you family ram. You fuck off your cousin, cha cha. <laughs> he also said some more stuff. Let's listen. So today me I drive and I just start thinking about my journey. And some of the money when I start out this whole tree that group with, you know. Man like Damien, Rodog, Bossy, JFM, you know. And I just start sending a couple of them some message. Just make them know, say, I appreciate them and, you know. Everybody life might go in a different direction and thing, but I'm still there to do it. I'm still have love and respect for them, you know. And of the people who are following me right now might not know them people, you know. Three that is actually a group, and it starts with them people, yeah. So the reason why my name Lincoln Tree that is because me is a part of the Tree that group, and my real name is Lincoln. So my name Lincoln Tree that, you see me. I may I tell one of them say yo like a them really motivate me and keep me going when me just start and I appreciate him, you know? And this are the message we him send come give me a show on the screenshot. Yo the message make me emotional. You know me a cancer. You know the money I know my journey, like know before me ever rhyme a word. You know what I'm saying? God no. And I know my personality before music and certain things I stand for and just all, just all my operate, you know? So I normally have a cleaner. But this time I decide to make a clean my house myself. And about four days you now I have clean to blood clot. Never know I say that. But look how my counter clean. Watch it. Yeah. Anyway, people, put in the comment section, have you ever slept with your cousin or family member and not knowing and things and things? You see me, I say, I'm not lying, I'm call to one of my family already, you know. But when I pull up and then I realize I'm a family, you know what I mean? This is why it's good for one of you knowing the family. You know what I mean? Fathers and mothers stop hiding the youth them from each other, even for different parents. Don't forget for comment on Beanie Man and Sizzler thing. Brian and, 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 and Silk Boss thing as well, you see me? And my girl Jessie with the racism out in Miami. People, if you made it this far in the video and you're not subscribed yet, why you are wait for? Stop follow the page and now subscribe, man. I hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when we drop. And the latest in dance all news, musical reviews and gossip, you see me? I say, and like and share the video where I try to reach broader audience. How we need them to help in doing so. Bless.